Well, good evening everyone. Welcome to a new Tenerife live stream. And it is a little bit of a different one this evening. I'm gonna start off on a bit more of a serious note. We're gonna have a little bit of a chat here, a bit of a sort of live news update discussion. Um, I'm gonna quash some of this media stuff that is absolutely driving me nuts. I think this is the last video I'm gonna do on it before I completely move on uh, because it is, it is really winding me up. Um, and then we're gonna walk around Las Americas. We're here on the Gold Mile. We'll show you the actual situation possibly speak to some people around and about us as well, but show you what is actually going on here on the ground in Las Americas, one of the biggest tourist hotspots in South Tenerife. Uh, but to start with, it is gonna be a little bit more of a news update, a little bit of me having a rant, etc., for the first 10 minutes. Uh, and then we will sort of have a discussion and walk around and do our usual fun chit chat. But it's gonna start off a bit more on a, a serious note because all of this media stuff is driving me bonkers. Uh, for various different reasons. Uh, I'm getting so many different questions. Not that your questions to me are a problem, but it more just worries me what the questions are. I'm seeing so many different comments. Again, this morning on the UK TV, it was all over again regarding the anti-tourism Tenerife thing. Tourists go home, they're not welcome. The massive protests that are going on tomorrow. Yes, there is a protest happening tomorrow. Um, it is. Uh, up in the north in Santa Cruz, not down here in the south. If you're down here in the south in the holiday hot spots, you're not going to see anything um, really going on. There is a protest going on. Is it massive and as big as they're making it out to be? Not particularly. But it's the headlines and the stories being printed uh, throughout this week, last week, that are the most concerning. And we are now seeing a bit of an effect. I'm seeing uh, various people saying they're not going to come now, various people saying they're going to change their holiday. Um, I've had comments here. This is one example I've had on Instagram. Um, just watching the Channel 5 news now. It's gone about, on about how Brits aren't welcome. Completely incorrect. Um, I know someone who was coming to Tenerife uh, with 10 of his friends. They've now scrapped it uh, and have booked somewhere else for this June. Uh, the wife now also doesn't want to go. All of this news is having an effect. I've got to now reconvince her to come. So there's one example. I'm seeing that on various different Facebook groups, various different people messaging me. I'm not gonna name, uh, name well, Sean. Um, how's it going, Sean? Uh, a few people in my Facebook group now as well. I reckon there will be a big drop in tourists as the news uh, are showing in other countries. Um, it's, it's really not good. And this is all stemming from a lot of fake news, fake headlines. Uh, I am gonna give a little shout out to two fantastic videos that he did this week. Uh, travel on over in Lanzarote, he did two videos. He did one regarding all of this fake news. There was a bit, loads of articles going around about Lanzarote, how it was on the brink of breaking point and all this nonsense. He did a fantastic video walking around, speaking to everyone. And then he did a second video regarding the other bit of like fake news flying around, uh, which is regarding that you'll need 97 pounds a day and you'll have to prove it at the borders. He did another video on that going around everyone in Lanzarote, asking everyone, uh, did they have to pay or prove, not pay, prove that they had 97 pounds uh, in the bank, which again is complete nonsense. Uh, the Spanish government have actually come out and said that the uh, that it is basically um, fake news. The, that's the, the, uh, the widely reported 97 pound tourist rule is a hoax says the Spanish government. Uh, amid widespread reports uh, about financial checks on visiting uh, from British tourists, the Spanish Ministry of uh, the Interior uh, sets the record straight and has said that it's basically a hoax. You're not gonna be checked if you've got 97 pounds per day in the bank. Um, no one has been checked on any of the islands. It ain't gonna happen. It is all basically fake news. So you do have to be very careful what you're listening to. Um, and as Travel On rightly made a very, very good point, why aren't the UK media outlets focusing on their own tourism in, um, issues in the UK, Cornwall, etc., that all have big tourism issues uh, that affect their own economy, your economy back in the UK, rather than focusing on Tenerife, Lanzarote, Canary Islands, where you are now affecting the economy which relies on tourism. So maybe UK media focus on some of the issues you've got going back at home rather than focusing on them over here, causing us uh, issues. 
people canceling their holidays, people now no longer confident, etc. Why aren't they focusing on some of the issues they've got at home there? Bournemouth, Cornwall, all of those places having issues with Airbnb. No reports on that because it won't get the same amount of clicks and the same amount of views. So it is a little bit, bit of a reassurance message, uh, basically. Um, and now a lot, uh, what's funny is as well, I'm now seeing in some of the, the bits of screenshotted here, just as reminders, I normally do these edited, uh, but I'm going free, free roll here. I'm gonna be reading some, be reading some of your comments in a second. Um, here's the next one. It is, is one example that came out. When, when did this come out? Yesterday, this came out. Tensions escalate in Tenerife. Um, as Tenerife told to get rid of Brits wearing a popular item on the beach. What do you think the popular item was? Tensions have escalated because apparently tensions are rising in Spain with tourists sporting flip-flops. Really? Is this the best we can come out with? Really? Uh, they're, they're pleading to have a shift towards a more cultural tourism. Wow, wowee. So that's just an example of some of the headlines that are coming out. There is some issues regarding um, housing and things over here. That's where the problem is. That's where the protests are aimed at. They're aimed at the government because uh, there is a housing issue. There's a bit of basically sort of a housing shortage. Their argument is that um, the housing is quite expensive compared to their wages. So they don't have too much to live on. Once they've paid their rents and things, um, the amount of apartments available are very limited as well. So I do see both sides of it. But the amount of the, the UK media is pumping out here, so much stuff, and it's all about Tenerife Canary Islands and Spain almost every single day. When it all calmed down a little bit with the tourism stuff, or what we can do now, we'll start firing up about all the 97 pounds a day uh, proof. That ain't happening. You're all not gonna be asked to show any money. You're not gonna be asked to show your bank account or anything like that when you arrive here in Tenerife. Uh, but yeah, flip-flops, massive issue over here on the beaches, I'm afraid. You might have to leave your flip-flops and your Crocs at home. Trivial, trivial problem. But as I said, it is possibly now starting to do a little bit of damage because people are now worried about coming over. A few people have changed where they're going and it's absolutely ridiculous because everyone I've spoken to this week on our live streams uh, made an effort to ask everyone about it, even though I can't really be bothered giving it too much airtime. Um, and everyone has said they've not noticed a single difference. They've felt welcome. No one's been checked at the airport. Uh, I'm going to read some of the comments that were on uh, Travel On's video. It was a really good one. You do should check it out. Um, I did like what you did over there. So a lot of the comments were all regarding the media. Turn off your TV. Suddenly the planet's fine. Um, all the mainstream media needs shutting down. They are disgusting. Was over in Lanzarote in January. Had no hassle. Uh, I no longer pay attention to the, the mainstream papers and media. Um, these people on the mainstream media should be held accountable for all their false news. Uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very, very hot topic. Uh, but what is, is quite refreshing is a lot of you here in the comments now as well, I'm reading them as they're going on the screen, is a lot of you are not buying it, and rightly so. The people here on the ground are showing you the exact situation everything is as normal they are hyping it up i don't know how much you can hype up one topic is absolutely crazy um but hopefully it gives you a little bit of reassurance there is a protest going on tomorrow a few people have asked me to go and show it i don't really see the point uh, in doing that i'm very busy anyway i've got a business to run and tourists to cater for with cars a uh, bar to run um so i don't think i'm going to be making it up there to uh, show it apparently it's on the ITV News now at the moment. There you go. Um, but I don't know how much more reassurance we can give. What is still disappointing me is the fact that um, the Tenerife Tourism Board still haven't released any form of statement, um, any form of video, any form of reassurance for people coming over. So it's been left to us because if you're thinking of coming over, do it, get yourself booked, ignore all of this stuff. You are still very, very welcome. Uh, the other little bit, there was um, one of the holiday companies, I can't remember what it was called now. Uh, what are they called? Just trying to find it. On the beach, on the beach sent a reporter over. He went round and asked loads of tourists, um, hotel workers, 
tourism workers, what the situation was, how they feel about it, how they feel about Brits. I don't know why it's all been spun on Brits because it's against tourism in general, apparently not just UK tourists, but it's not even about the tourists really, it's, it's against the government. The government needs to do a lot more to regulate the Airbnbs, get more people in affordable housing, give uh, landlords more incentives to rent long term, don't give so many squatters rights, maybe reduce the taxes if you're gonna rent long term, etc. It's about the government, not about you. So if you're on your way over, expect an amazing time as usual. Look back on some of our live streams this week. Every single person we spoke to had been here before because it is very addictive in Tenerife. Um, and everyone said, as normal, not noticed anything different. You're not gonna be asked to show your bank account. You're not gonna be asked to prove 97 pounds a day in the bank. Uh, you're not gonna feel unwelcome. You're not going to be shooed away. They're not going to be rude to you, etc., etc. So that was basically what I wanted to run through. That was a little 10 minutes. We are going to have a little walk around. I'm on the Golden Mile this evening, so I wanted to show exactly what was happening around. If any of you are around here, you want to come and chat with me about this issue, do let me know. Uh, or come on over. I will, if we see anyone, I will ask them and we'll see exactly um, what is happening. But I, I think it's a very, very good point. Why are the UK media so obsessed with us? our tourism, our economy, affecting our economy, which we rely on. The Canary Islands rely on tourism for jobs, income, you name it, massively. But they're not reporting on all of the issues that are in the UK uh, which, regarding tourism. As I said, all those places, Cornwall, Bournemouth, Airbnbs, you name it, it's all about over here. So there we go. I think that's sort of reassured. I'm just flicking through some of the screenshots that I've taken. Um, so yeah, I mean, regarding the tourist tax that is potentially gonna come in, a few people talking about that. Um, a lot of people were quite happy to sort of pay. We paid a tourist tax in Ibiza, no problem. Uh, it was spent on local footpath, be beach walks, uh, beach walkways and uh, cleanliness, etc. So a few people were actually quite positive about paying a bit of a tourist tax if it's gonna mean the islands are, are cleaner, etc. But again, there's no discussion of that over here. It's all about the UK media hyping it up. So I don't know what's been said on ITV News now. I'm sure I'll get another abundance of messages and emails and people concerned, uh, which you can very welcomely email me, message me. I cannot answer them all. So hopefully this addresses uh, all of you as a whole. Uh, if you do have any questions though regarding it, let me know on this live chat. I will try and answer some. I'll do a few questions uh, and a few comments here before we take a little bit of a walk. It's a bit of a live news update this really. Uh, if any of you have been over the last couple of weeks this week, were you checked at the airport to check how much money you had in the bank or was it all business as usual um our news programs tend to repeat items i read days ago uh, which is hardly news uh, how's it going john when he's named to the g rant i'm sure dad would be ranting yeah, he loves a good rant on all of this stuff uh, but it, it just got to the point today where i was like i've had enough i'm gonna have to do a little bit of a talk on it and then i think i'm gonna be done with it now i'm gonna be moving on uh, I think Travelon said the same. He's, he's reporting from uh, the Lanzarote protest tomorrow. And he, I think he said once he's reported on it and shown it, he's done and moving on with it as well. Um, I think they've got nothing else to do. So it's just getting recycled the same story every single week over and over and over again. But it's damaging our, it's damaging our economy now. If people stop, less people come, people start cancelling, people start changing. You're now affecting people's jobs, livelihoods, businesses, the tourism industry, how many people come over. Uh, but you're not doing that to your own your own economy, are you, in the UK? Um, uh, they do not call it tourism over here. The best description is... Uh, I'm not going to go into that. I would still come on holiday. Would you still come over? Is it still business as usual for you? Ignore it all. Get yourself over. Just watch people's vlogs. Watch people's channel. Watch people's posts. Watch TikToks. You'll see it all as is. It's all as it was. Uh, can't wait to get over there in July. Fantastic. If you're thinking of coming over, get yourself over. What I'm going to do as well, let's have a little bit of fun with this, actually. If anyone books a trip to Tenerife in, during this live stream, the first person to book a Tenerife holiday on this live stream, whenever it is, excluding Christmas, New Year, I will give you a free Sonasti car rental. First person to do it, you've got to email me proof that you booked it tonight. Email me the confirmation. I'll give you a free car hire. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's see if someone wants to book an impromptu trip to Tenerife. If you were thinking about it, get on it now. I will give you a free car hire for the whole time you're here. As long as it's not a month. Um, uh, you and Travel on hit the nail on the head. The issues over here, especially um, with the seaside towns, is horrific. But yeah, it's all about Tenerife. 
strange, strange. You don't see the Spanish and Canary media reporting on the, the tourism stuff going on in the UK, do you? Uh, coming over in two weeks, can't wait. Uh, coming in June, definitely. So yeah, a lot of your comments are reassuring because a lot of you are just not buying it at all, which is fantastic. Um, let's see, I booked for a May visit, fantastic. If you're thinking of coming over or you're on your way over, you've got it booked, do not worry about it. Honestly, do not worry about it. I've always tried to be straight up on the channel with the issues that go on. Uh, I've always told you about the pickpockets. We had the few issues with a couple of muggins that were going on for a while, etc. I'm always trying to be straight up with you. If there was any forms of issues going on, I would, I would tell you about it. If there was people getting kicked out of places, graffiti going on, people getting snarled, people being rude, I would tell you about it. But it ain't happening. Not at all. Uh, sorry, there's so many comments going on. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Do please hit the thumbs up. Share this with your friends as well. If you've got anyone coming over, send them this for a little bit of reassurance um, because it's, it's getting absolutely crazy now. People are now potentially changing their trips, cancelling, etc. Uh, we're not buying it. People who don't watch the channel might, which is a worry. Um, well, there's so many comments. This is on slow mode as well. Be over in September. Uh, feel much safer than I do in London over in Tenerife. Skyscanner is going to have massive spike in numbers. Get on it. If anyone books one, if anyone does it, I will, I will give you a free car hire while we're on the stream. Um, I do have seven seaters yet. So that's what I do over here. I do car hire. So that's my, my business. Relies on tourism, relies on people coming over. I employ local people. Um, it's, and we've got the bar as well. Again, a tourism business. So, very important. Uh, all the talk in my work the last few days, that I don't get it, why is everyone so obsessed with it? It's unreal, so that's the, so the ITV, so ITV today, I've done it all morning and now all evening. Have you not got anything else that you could possibly report on or think of? And what I've done is if they've taken the chance because the, the, the planned uh, protest tomorrow is coming up. They're like, right, the day before, we'll get a load of news out. We'll get a load. We'll discuss it all again because the protest is tomorrow. Um, none of the garbage or stuff has come into Tenerife. Not a single person I've spoken to has felt unwelcome over here. Everyone is loving it, absolutely loving it. It's a bit cloudy today, though. I did want the blue skies to have in the background. It's a little bit overcast today, but it has been nice and warm. Uh, are you going to Buddy's after? I will be going to Buddy's later on this evening. Yes. Uh, in Tenerife at the moment, looking at another break whilst you're there. Sent you an email to confirm for September's Panda. Absolutely no problem, Nelson. Uh, thank you very much. 1,600 tuned in. Uh, do please give a thumbs up. I hope this has reassured some of you. We're going to take a walk now, and I'll show you. You can tell me if the people you see walking around look scared, nervous, um, unwelcome, uh, if they've had their bank accounts raided and their credit cards checked. You can tell me. Because some of this stuff is just unreal. Uh, it wasn't so long ago, you know, we had all the issues with COVID, getting people back over. Now we're right back where we should be. You've got all this going on. Um, can you make a video interviewing a protester and send it to the UK media? I think they've got enough. They've got enough material. We've had reporters over here. Um, and I think numbers-wise, it is not... a big as, the, as they're making out. Uh, I've come back and no way did I feel unwelcome. There you go. I'm a travel agent and have to reassure customers that it's absolutely fine to come. Sharon, I bet you are inundated with emails and messages and calls all day long, all day long, all because of the UK media. Uh, everyone looks chilled out as usual. Exactly. Let's take a walk, everyone. Uh, apologies. It's not my usual sort of live stream, this one. A bit of a serious start. But let's, let's try and have a little bit of fun with it now because it was winding me up. I've got it off my chest now. Um, and uh, we will uh, take a little bit of a walk around. So, uh, welcome along, everyone. I hope you're all having a, a good Friday. It is the weekend. Let's give you a little bit of an update on this hotel because you will all ask about it. Um, so let's have a little look if there's been any changes since the other day. We've got a few of the, the neck curtains are going on in the rooms now. Quite a few decorated. You've got the, sun, the uh, beds are going in. This wall is all getting finished off and completed as well. They're cracking on with that. Let's have a little look at the pool area, see if we see any changes. Uh, hope you feel better now. Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. 
it was just, it winds you up, it really does wind you up. But as I said, where are the, uh, where's the Tenerife tourism board during all of this is my question. Why haven't they come out and reassured people that uh, coming over, you will absolutely be fine, you'll have a great time, you'll feel safe, etc. you'll feel welcome. Where are they? Why is it down to, to YouTubers and people on Facebook, etc., to reassure people that it's fine to come over here? Crazy. Oh, there we go. So, any changes? Ah, okay, there was a little bit of a change. So that area over there, we can see they've put like a new little bench seat thing and a little bit of a garden area just to the right of it, just there. That's quite nice. Uh, we're still a long way away though, aren't we? We're still building walls. We've still got all this to finish off with the wall here outside. But it's mainly the pool deck. As I've mentioned before, the most important area of the hotel and the most important area of the hotel is a mile away from being finished. Uh, it looks like they're building something over here, maybe like the edge of a splash pool or a little bit of a hot tub area or something just there. They're making good progress, progress. I keep getting told off about progress. They're making good progress, but it's, it's still, what do you reckon guys, a month away at least? At least they've cracked on well, but still a while away. Right, okay, let's take a walk down the infamous Golden Mile. And uh, let's see all of these miserable, unhappy, unwelcome people. <laughs> oh, if you don't laugh. Uh, got my cameo via the wife Nicole. Thanks, are oh, you very welcome? Thanks, Ronnie. Uh, do please hit the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel as well. Make sure you do subscribe. I'm basically putting up a video every single day at the moment, either a live stream or an edited vlog or bits and bobs. So uh, do hit the subscribe. It's completely free. I always keep you in touch with what is going on on the island. Also, follow me on TikTok. Uh, the Night Strider one. If you're on TikTok, give me a follow. Uh, posted a couple of different videos this week including one that we're uh, going around Iceland got a quarter of a million views of me showing you Iceland supermarket over here and uh, what was astonishing in the comments uh, during the video I said you know obviously they've got to import it pay a bit of import tax and shipping costs etc so my point was obviously the prices of the products and the Cadbury's chocolate and stuff was going to be more expensive because of that but a lot of you pointed out that it was actually the same price in the UK at the moment than it is over here. Basically the same price. So yeah, that's that had a lot of views. That was a 10 minute walk around uh, Iceland supermarket over here Whoa. in uh, Tenerife. The Tenerife tourist board spent all their money on their new boards. Oh. Just a little statement on Facebook or something or to release to the local papers reassure everyone but I think the fact that they've stayed silent doesn't help anything at all especially when it's nonsense a lot of it is nonsense there you go there's the fountain looking good busy in Harry's as well I've noticed well a lot of uh, young couples a lot of young people out at the moment especially around here a lot of the young ones are rack out hard rock cafe rooftop I love it up there don't forget you've got the uh, two for one cocktails until seven up there as well. We'll go down and have a little look at the beach. Yeah, if you've got any questions regarding it, do please uh, let us know just on ITV News, big report. And what was the report in general then? What was the overall view? Let me know. What was the overall spin on their big report then? Uh, looks like they're cracking down, uh, cracking on with the uh, beach club towards Prairie to Colon. It's good news. Good news, Martin. Uh, so it has been a little bit overcast. It's been in and out today. It's been a little bit overcast inland. Down on the coast, it was mostly sunny. And then just this little bit of cloud has formed uh, this evening. Just watched the ITV Evening News saying tourists not welcome. Did an interview with a local... Let's see with a local environmental expert and he stated hotels are using all the water as oh, is this the latest spin oh, it changes every time changes every day that's the first thing i've heard about water 
in over a month. Since we had a bit of the water shortage, I reported on that. Yeah, then we had rain, it all went away. Oh, so this is the latest one, right. The hotels are using all the water. Boy, oh boy. First thing I've heard, honestly, about water in over a month. We had that little bit of a drought. There was nothing to do with hotels or tourists. We had a little bit of a water drought. We hadn't had rain for a while. We got rain, it all sort of went away. Because we had rain, we, the, the reserves filled up again, sorted. But, oh no, now all the hotels are, oh boy. <laughs> Don't get me started, I'm moving on from this. And I think this will be the last time I'm gonna discuss it all. It's just unreal. So no doubt that'll make a few headlines tomorrow. That'll be the latest newspaper article. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Uh, look how much rain we get. Uh, first bit of sunshine and we're restricted. I just think it's a bit over the top, but they don't realize what damage they're doing over here. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite easy for them sat behind a, a TV screen. They get handed a little script to read out. And uh, you know, they're quite happy sat in the studio reading the script out and job done. But they're not actually over here, are they? It'd be quite easy for a Spanish reporter to be given a script. Here's a load of stuff on Cornwall, Bournemouth, all the issues going on in the UK with tourism, Airbnbs, seaside towns. And I mean, yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure the Spanish uh, reporters would be quite happy to read it all out, cause issues in the UK, and we're over here fine in the sunshine. Uh, we love Tenerife, fantastic Andrew, I'm sure we all do, we've got 1,700 tuned in, thank you all very much for joining me, uh, ready or not, Wednesday, here we come, fantastic, fantastic, and I wouldn't normally really enter all of this sort of political stuff and all of that, I'll read the news out and give my opinions a little bit and show you what's happening, I wouldn't normally go full in on it really, I probably won't do it again. Or it has to, you have to prove a point sometimes. So overall, it is actually nice and sunny. Um, it's not bad, nice and sunny, nice and hot. Uh, it's currently 24 degrees, especially when the sun's on you like it is now. So it looks quite cool with the cloud around, but it's actually lovely and warm. It has been a hot day again. Very hot. It should clear up tomorrow, I think, the cloud around. It looks like it's going to rain, but it's not. Maybe a tiny little bit up in the mountains, but down here on the coast been absolutely fine everything is all running a-ok -okay. all your excursions your cyan park your restaurants everything's all spot on what i will say is as well the streets are a lot busier this week which i'm really liking and um, a couple of last week for those couple of weeks over easter the island was busy but the streets and the restaurants and the bars weren't really busy a lot of the all-inclusives were full uh, with the families but the streets felt a little bit quiet uh, they've certainly gone back to how they were again. The bar's been full the last couple of nights. It's definitely gone back to how it was. Now those Easter holidays and the school kids have gone back. The flights are right back down to where they normally are. Average of around 100 quid return this week. So uh, a lot more back to uh, normal. Right, have a little look at the beach front. We'll do a little bit of a loop. If you do have any questions, do fire away. Uh, it was great uh, to meet you this morning in McDonald's, just been to Buddy's. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was uh, good to see you both. Now everyone's going to be thinking I had a McDonald's breakfast. Uh, I was down here actually filming a little bit of a TikTok. We'd done a delivery, filmed a TikTok, and uh, we were parked beside next Donald's, McDonald's, and I said, uh, I said to Lisa, let's pop in and grab a coffee. So I didn't have any food, I just grabbed one of their uh, salted caramel uh, lattes, which are quite nice. Uh, so that's why I was in McDonald's before you all think I was having a Big Mac at 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I do occasion, I will occasionally grab a Mackey's coffee just because they do that caramel, the salted caramel. The Spanish coffee shops don't do that. But I was in a local coffee shop at 8 o'clock this morning every day, 8 a.m. I'm always down for a little coffee. That was the second coffee of the morning, that one. 
<laughs> nice little atmosphere in this one, the beach club. So they're still going to get a nice sunset. You've got the surfers out there, cocktails flying, nice music. My kind of music in there today. Sometimes a little bit bassy, a little bit boomy. Uh, I can vouch for it, it was just a copy, it was, yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of you will be thinking of having, seen, uh, having McFlurries and all kinds. I was tempted by the chocolate muffin, but I resisted. I did resist. Here's a nice view for you all then. Sound of the ocean. Tide is quite far out today. As you can see, normally up to this level here, so it is quite far out. Uh, yeah, I'm all good, all good. Just uh, need a little rant, you know. Feeling good, all good. All good. Other than that, it's been a very, very good week. Been a good week with work, nice and busy. Everything's been good. Just every time I see that, especially when it's just every single day, you don't get a break from it, really. So, which route should we take? Should we stick on the beachfront or should we go straight down the Golden Mile again? Let me know, we can do a little bit of a, a loop. We could carry on down the coast, a little bit down Las Americas route, or we could head towards Los Cristianos sort of route. Let me know which you would prefer, what you fancy. Uh, down the mile, can't wait to be there. Fantastic, Angela. I'm gonna be seeing a lot of you around. If you see me around, do come and say hello. It's uh, great to see you all. Beachfront, beachfront. The Buddies is open now, yes, 100%. But it's open, nice and busy. Laura and Holly are in tonight. I'll be heading there a little bit later on. Lance, thank you very much for the super chat put towards a stiff drink. Uh, stuff the uh, UK media, thank you very much. And uh, much appreciate a lot of people asking for the beach. So will I go along the little beach? I'll try and do a bit, little bit of both. Uh, beach front. Uh, we'll be getting to Buddy's a little bit later on. I could, if I walked from here, it would take me about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So. I won't be on the live stream, but I will be going a little bit later on. Uh, do you like Greg's coffee? I've got to be honest, I've never tried a Greg's coffee. I'll try one next time I'm home. Never tried one. I don't like Tim Horton's coffee, I know that. Or Costa. Costa or Tim Horton's. I'd rather have a glass of water. <laughs> But well, now, thank you very much, all very much for joining me. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, uh, probably going to a different area or something tomorrow. I know I'm down here in Las Americas, uh, but that is sort of ties in with what we're doing, the main tourism area, etc. the topic of the stream. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna to take you somewhere a little bit different, possibly on Sunday as well, we're gonna be going somewhere a little bit different. Uh, if you've got any suggestions though, do let me know. A few of you have said you don't want any more food streams for a while, so. We might do a little bit more walking around or just having a drink or something. I know some of you love the food videos, some of you not so much, so I will always do a little bit of a mix and match on that. Uh, whereabouts did you get your shirt, shirt on Wednesday night stream in the Indian? What was it? Uh, that was from Next. That was a polo that a lovely subscriber bought for me from Next. It was, I think, uh, similar to my other one, I think they're around £40, but really nice material. So yeah, very kind subscriber bought that for me. Uh, thank you very much. If you're watching, you know who you are. But uh, yeah, it's in Next. I imagine it would still be there, possibly, uh, in the UK or online. Jump online, have a little look. Where are you going tomorrow? I'm thinking tomorrow we might go to uh, Playa San Juan, an area we've not covered for a while. Last time we were there, they had a lot of work going on. A lot of the streets were closed and they were doing all the walkways and making it one way and things. It was all boarded up. So I'd like to go to San Juan. We haven't been for a few months and I think everything is all pretty much back to normal up there now. So uh, that's a nice little fishing village down the coast, just past the hard rock you can see in the distance there. About 25 minutes from here on the motorway. Not too far away. Here's our little live uh, singer and guitarist. Oh, we've got a full on band today. The guy's out with the drums as well, creating a nice little bit of atmosphere. 
this I always say this this gives me like California vibes the the surfer with his dog and the people out surfing people having a drink having a beer people out like singing and playing the guitar and stuff but if uh, we are the champions going on Uh, how much notice do you need to book a car in October? Uh, let me know as soon as you can. October is always a fully booked month, at least a couple of months before to get what you want, uh, the size you want, etc. Uh, Scott Gardner, enjoy your drink, keep striding on. Uh, off to Florida, 8th of May. Fantastic, been watching the Florida videos to get you in the mood. Thank you very much, Scott. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy it, have an amazing time and uh, enjoy that. Please review the Breeze Inn, that's on uh, San Telmo. I will try and do that at some point for you all. I would say the vast majority of people visiting the Canary Islands would uh, have proof of where they were staying with no issues. They're never going to be asked though, how they, would they ever police that, have the manpower to do that? You would be hours and hours and hours getting through security and passport control if they were doing all of that. It's never going to happen. We'll be in Buddies next weekend. Fantastic. What also made me laugh a little bit was it wasn't so long ago that they were reporting and, you know, boasting and bumming off Tenerife being the UK's number one holiday destination. And now it's like it's flipped and it's like, let's make sure it's not the UK's number one holiday destination, but it won't affect us. We will still remain as number one. Trust me. Uh, Alan Cowler, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Much appreciated. I'll put it towards a little bit of a drink or a bite to eat later on. Now, do we carry on along this way? Actually, yeah, we'll carry on along and then we'll cut up and do a little bit of uh, go past the Dubliner and stuff like that up that way. Yeah, this is where I was. This was the McDonald's I was in earlier, getting that little coffee. Coming on the 1st of May, so I won't qualify for a free car. If, you, uh, if, you, if anyone does book a trip to Tenerife during this stream, send me an email with the proof. Uh, thanks for the reassurance. We have booked for July tonight, despite all the publicity. Fantastic, Joe. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the information from the people on the ground over here, living here day in, day out. Uh, when and where will the protesters be so I can avoid them and continue to enjoy your holiday? So they're not even going to be down here in the main tourist resorts. Uh, they're in La Laguna and I believe the one tomorrow is in Santa Cruz in the capital. Not hugely popular with tourists. Uh, what I would say is going to be a little bit disappointing for anyone stopping on a cruise tomorrow. If anyone's got a cruise stop here uh, tomorrow in Santa Cruz and you've got, you know, you arrive to that going on, that is quite disappointing whether there is really any cruises stopping tomorrow, I'd have to have a look. Uh, but yeah, if anyone was docking on a cruise tomorrow, that they're gonna get off and uh, possibly experience a little bit of that. I don't know how big it's even gonna be. I mean, how can you tell? I don't think it's gonna be as big as people think it's gonna be. Uh, but yes, Santa Cruz, La Laguna, they're the main areas. La Laguna, extremely residential. It's where the university is. It's where all the students are. Um, lovely place, lovely place to see, they've got some fantastic, it's very authentic, but if you're coming down here to the south, your main tourist hotspots, your Costa Radecki, Las Americas, Los Chris, you're not going to see anything, you're not going to experience anything at all. Um, do, 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 do. do you know when the vault is reopening, I'm really not sure, they've just done a lot of work on that when I drove past it, uh, so it does look a little bit of a way away. Um, but again, things can change quickly. They have a lot of work going on, a lot to do, I think, to uh, merge them together and expand it. I'm right, gonna have to talk over the, uh, the music, the guy playing a little bit of keyboard. Holiday vibes. Do you pop into the beachfront Starbucks often? Um, I used to go on a Sunday morning, but it was, I was struggling to get down at an early enough time where it wasn't rammed, so I was 
pulling up at like half 11 in the morning and the queue would be massive and stuff so i haven't been for a little while it is one of my favorites that gorgeous views but i normally have a starbucks on a sunday i haven't done it for the last probably four sundays just with where commitments being quite busy Yeah, you can see everyone is happy. There you go, Sharon. Good stuff. So there's a little bit of graffiti on there, but it doesn't say go home, does it? I do wish they'd do something with that, though. Yeah, a little bit of a different sort of live stream tonight. I hope you have still enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully it has reassured a lot of you as well. Have you talked to any of the activists to get their points of view? I haven't, not personally. I've read what they're, what they're saying. I've read their points. I see some of their points. But I think it's directed at the wrong people. I think some of what they're doing is totally wrong. Um, the graffiti and things like that is totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Vandalism, etc. Um, but I do see their points. I do see the point. But yeah, there's a way to go about it. But unfortunately, the, the media are directing it in a way towards tourists. I mean, it's directed at the government. They need to demand answers from their own government. Nothing to do with tourists. The word tourists shouldn't even come into it, really. Uh, what do you think the score will be on Sunday? I'm not too sure. I had the chance to go to that game. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, so I won't be going. I'll hopefully watch it over here. Um, I fancy us to win, to be honest. I hope that we have a response to getting hammered 6-0. Fingers crossed. Uh, they've had the same tourism protests in Mallorca for some time without much press coverage. No, but over here it's every single day. Uh, coming to H10 Las Palmeiras in two weeks. Keep striding. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Do please hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you do send this to anyone who might be coming to Tenerife or thinking about it. Uh, just so you know uh, what the situation is. So it's nice to see the promenades a bit busier again. They did feel a little bit quiet over the Easter, Easter holidays. We'll be there in May. Fantastic. Uh, Brandon, no, you're not blocked. I can see your comments. There's a lot of comments going up. Uh, so do bear with me because they are going up quite quickly. I'll do my best to uh, read them all, but they are flying up. We've got 1,560 tuned in, so... Uh, quite a lot watching so i do apologize i'm not ignoring you there's a lot of uh, people commenting uh, sarah you're here now and how do you feel sarah now you're here how does it feel to be over yeah much busier on the prom loving it loads of wacky holiday shirts as well happening It looks a bit overcast. It has been a little bit today. Not too bad out. Not too bad on the coast. It has been out the majority of the day on the coast. Inland a little bit uh, cloudy though. Cannot wait for August to be back. But you can't wait to be picking one of these ice creams on a hot sunny day. Look at these. That new white Snickers is uh, really nice. White Snickers ice cream tempted but I will resist have you picked a horse for tomorrow I don't do horse racing so I haven't I'm not into horse racing there you go man doing the bubbles superman <laughs> good fun for the kids six points on Sunday it is indeed big big game Big game. I wish I could be there, but where it comes first. 
We were in a bar and vista sale last year and there was an extremely large demonstration. Um, I think I might have seen some posts on Facebook about that. That was a little while ago. I think I remember reading something about it. Always feel safe in Tenerife. Uh, you just go, I uh, just got to stay alert to your surroundings. Great watch, thank you very much. <laughs> they should raise the tax on all the car rental owners. The owners are loaded, are they? <laughs> oh, I love how people know my personal situation. But let's actually, while you're on that topic, a car rental is one of the highest IJIC or VA, the equivalent of e VAT. Uh, we pe do pay the highest some of the highest IJIC rates on the island for our industry. So our VAT on the car rental is actually 13%, I think. 13 or 14%. Uh, whereas on your basic products, all your other stuff, um, all your basics, you know, all your supermarket stuff, most of uh, those products have a rate of 7%. So we pay more than double uh, VAT tax for car rental. Little interesting fact for you. So do make sure if you get any quotes for car rental, make sure they include it because that's where some of them catch you out. They'll say it's 100 euros for two days or whatever it is. And then you go and pick it up and they add the tax on at the end when you go to pay. So we we'll always check that that tax is included. Uh, don't forget, if you do want to rent a car, sanasti.com. Uh, that is what I do over here. You can have them delivered to your hotel picked up from your hotel. You can have a few days, one day, a week, a month. You can pick it up and drop it off at the airport. And um, we've been over, the, the company has been here on the island for over 45 years. So uh, do give us a shout for car rental. We've got small, medium, large, automatic, seven seaters. So uh, do give us a shout if you're looking for a car while you're here. Local family run business as well. There's the Celtic games getting shown in Buddies. Um, mostly we do, whichever's requested really. Most of people for Celtic though, I'll be honest, go up to the Hoops Bar, which is not far from us, uh, which is a fully dedicated Celtic bar. Uh, really big bar, Celtic memorabilia everywhere and stuff. So most Celtic fans go up to there to watch the game uh, when they're in Los Cristianos. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I could tell you to come and watch it in ours, but most people enjoy the atmosphere, being around all the other Celtic fans uh, in Hoops Bar. We had a couple of lads actually last week that uh, came in for a little drink with us in their Celtic shirts before they went up to Hoops, Hoops Bar to watch it. Yeah, you've got a Rangers bar in Los Cristianos as well. So yeah, we sort of go on request and what people are, what most people in the bar are going to want to watch. We're not really a sports bar. We've got a couple of screens. We'll pop a couple of games on. Um, but we're not, you know, we're not a dedicated sports bar or anything. So we sort of pop it on. If anyone's got a particular game they'd love to watch or there's a game a lot of people wouldn't mind keeping an eye on. But we're not really a sports bar. There's loads of them in Los Cristianos. They're doing a great job with that. How much is a taxi from Los Cristianos to Palm Mar? Uh, the bus doesn't take too long. The problem with the bus is there's sometimes a little bit of traffic on that route at the peak times, at going home time, four or five o'clock. Uh, if you were getting a taxi, you'd probably be looking about 10 euros, 10, 12 euros. It just depends on what time you're doing it. Hi, are you okay? Good, thank you. You? Can I ask you a quick question, even though you're eating? Just a quick question, topic of the video. Yeah. Do you still feel welcome and everything coming over with oh, all the yeah. media oh, hype? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's still enjoying it? Oh, You've yeah. been to Tenerife before, yeah? Yeah, several times. Yeah. So you've been loads, no different to no all? Different. No. No different at all. And did you get checked for the whole 97 quid a day in the bank thing? No, didn't think so. No, no. I'll leave you to it. Ah, okay, well, I'll, see, I'll catch you again. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much. There you go, lovely couple there. Enjoying a little meal in Savoy, lovely restaurant that. Really nice restaurant. 
Uh, do a good little uh, value menu in there. So there you go, you've just heard from them. They come all the time, no different, feel welcome. Wasn't checked for £97 a day in the bank. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Do you ever see road quads over there? Not particularly, Liam. Uh, not particularly, no. I see sometimes the, the guided tours heading up the, the main road up towards the, the mountain and the national park to do their sort of off-roading tour. Uh, but no, not really down here or anything. Very rarely. Not a huge amount of them. Be there on 6th of September for two weeks. Brilliant, Craig. I will see you then. Here you go, Gaelic Corner. A little bit quieter than it was on Paddy's day. We'll head back up towards the Golden Mile then. We've done 50 minutes already. Wow. Thank you all very much for joining me. Happy weekend. It's Friday. A lot of you will be off for a couple of days now. Relax, enjoy. Do what you enjoy. Do what makes you feel good. Go and have a nice little meal. Do something different. Try something new. But yeah, enjoy the weekend, whether you're working or not. Have a good weekend. If you're working, fear not, I am too. <laughs> so we're in the same boat. Shake your shamrock. Shamrock corner. <laughs> I love that that's stuck with everyone, that has, hasn't it? The old shamrock. Oh, shake your shamrocks. I think that was more newsworthy than some of the stuff they're printing. <laughs> there you go, Tandori Hall, that's where we were the other night. On Laura's night off. Dados. Busy as always. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot more younger people out and about on the streets. I don't know about yourselves. I'm noticing some a lot more young ones out and about. Not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just noticing a bit of a change of clientele from last week, Easter, with the families. Seeing a lot more of the young couples out. Definitely. Uh, joining you with the whole working weekend uh, thing. Three more weeks, then three week Florida vacation to look forward to. There you go. So when you're in on those weekends, you've got no day off. Just look forward to uh, your holiday, spending all those hard earned dollars on some food and drinks and snacks and stuff. Uh, I don't think any tourists are or will be affected. We will certainly uh, go to Tenerife every year. Fantastic, Anne. I hope you're doing well, Anne and David. Uh, just missed you. I'm in Las Palmeras Hotel. Saw Harry this morning. Have an amazing time, Anna. Let us all know on the chat. Do you still feel welcome? Or are you having a good time over here? Let us all know. There is still a slow boat Chinese. I believe there's a couple of them. Uh, the slow boat Chinese restaurants. So yeah, Park Santiago 1 and 2 just there. Someone mentioned in Park Santiago 2. So heading back towards the Golden Mile now. Well, I take a little bit more of a wander. Love the sound of the wild parrots. That's what you can hear there, the parakeets. How is your dad when he's coming back? Uh, Mum and dad are all good. I think they're in the live chat there at the moment. All good. I'm not sure when they're going to be back. They've said the summer's going to be too hot, but I reckon they'll get tempted in and they'll do a little week or something in July, August, I reckon. We'll, let, we'll have to wait and see. Paradise Park are having the roof floor replaced. Uh, maybe do a video when it's all finished. I certainly can do. Have a little, little, little wander around that hotel. Let's get ourselves back on the mile then. So we've just walked all along that beachfront. It's going to be a nice sunset, that, actually. If you see a bouncer with a tag watch in the Dubliner, it's mine. Pinched it two years ago, oh dear. <laughs> I doubt I'll see that.
Tony Romas. Do any of you go to Tony Romas here in Tenerife? It's a restaurant I've never done. I've never been hugely attracted to go. The food does look good, but I've never really been attracted to a chain restaurant, so to speak. Tony Romas, let me know your thoughts. It's always busy. Let's have a little look at the menu. All the famous ribs and stuff. So the original ribs, 26 euros for ribs. Uh, burgers do look nice though, don't they? The Nash Grand Texas Burger, Bacon Egg Burger. Ooh, fajitas, they look nice as well. It's a very similar menu, I would say, to the Hard Rock menu. Uh, only you haven't got, obviously, the Hard Rock atmosphere. I mean, that looks amazing as well, doesn't it? The cookie. Tony Rome, has anyone been? It came to mind because they use the same sign company that we use for the businesses. So uh, when I go in, I went in to pick up all the new merch for Buddy's Bar yesterday. Everyone's loving them. I think we sold about 10 mugs today. Everyone's loving those mugs um, that we got for the bar. But yeah, when I was in there picking all that up, they were doing all kinds of Tony Roma's signage and stuff. Roughly, how far is Siam Mall from the Golden Mile? Uh, about five euros in a taxi, or you'd be looking about a 30 odd minute, 45 minute walk. It's not a million miles. If you're walking though, you're looking about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how quick you walk. Uh, they do have a free Siam Mall bus. I'm not sure where it stops in Las Americas. I think it stops not far from here, actually, outside um, Hotel Best Tenerife. There's a free Siam Mall bus that will take you there and bring you back. Uh, the mugs and magnets look great, thank you very much. Yeah, really pleased with them. They took a while, designing them took a while. Um, little hidden details on them. And then producing them took a while. But yeah, we've got them and there's uh, plenty in stock for now. Yeah, just eating a rack of ribs, 2 99 from Farm Foods. There you go, a bit of a markup on them then, isn't there? How's the taxi, taxis at the airport at the moment? Not too bad. It depends when you land, I always say that. If you land on a really busy Friday night, a few flights have come in at the same time, you might have a little bit of a wait, 30 minutes or so. Yeah, but at the moment with the island being not ramoed, it's not bad at all. Tony Rome was in Benidorm was great. Well, thank you all very much for sticking with me. 1500 are still stuck with me. Different kind of live stream. We'll be back at it as usual tomorrow. Different area we haven't done for a while. I'll be showing you a more traditional Canarian fishing village uh, tomorrow that's had a lot of uh, rejuvenation in the area as well. All the walkways done and stuff. So we'll have a nice walk around there uh, tomorrow. Uh, I can't, a few people have asked me that kind of save reserve mugs and stuff. Um, they're going to be first come first serve is the easiest way for me to do it. Because uh, if I start holding mugs back and then someone's there and they want one and then people have reserved them and stuff. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep plenty stocked. The minute they go a little bit low, once I can judge how many are selling, I'll get plenty more back in stock. Um, there's not a huge mark upon them or anything. They're 20 euros. You get a free little shot with them as well. Uh, but they're just a nice little memento for people to have in the office at home and stuff. Uh, just to keep you, keep you going. Remind you of your holiday. And they keep you working towards your next holiday coming up as well, so. Uh, thanks for showing us uh, what's really happening over there. All positive vibes indeed. Not seen anyone not enjoying themselves, have we? As we've wandered around. Nice atmosphere today. Uh, would you say the markets are safe? Yeah, just be obviously be careful with your wallets and things, but the markets are safe. We do have the odd pickpocket around as you would in, in a, a UK market as well that was busy, you'd have pickpockets there. So just look after your wallets, maybe only take some cash with you, keep it in your front pocket. Keep an eye on your things, watch your bag as well. Don't have your bag behind you and you know, where they can open the zip and stuff. Just keep everything to hand, keep an eye on your stuff. You'll be absolutely fine. Uh, we got a taxi from Las Americas to Los Cris on Sunday and the driver made us pay an extra five euros surcharge because it was Sunday. That sounds, that's not right. The only time the taxis can add a surcharge is if you go into the airport 
or if you've booked the taxi over the phone. If you haven't done either of those, they're not allowed to add the surcharge on, so you can dispute that. Um, some people just sort of pay because they don't want the argument with the Spanish taxi drivers, but five euros extra is ridiculous. I think their rate is slightly higher on bank holidays and Sundays, but they can't just add on five euros at the end. Yeah, the only time, if you watch the meter and you pull up and say, say the meter says six euros and you pull up at your destination and then he clicks some buttons and it jumps up to seven, eight euros and you haven't been the airport and you haven't booked the taxi on, on over the phone, they can't add that, that supplement onto it. They have to take it back down to the original meter price. So do watch out for that. That's why I say, if you're not a big drinker and that, hire a car, avoid all of that arguing with taxi drivers and that jump in the car do it at your own pace your own time uh, the apartment looked amazing great job uh, well done to you and garvey i'm sure mum was pleased yeah little uh, apartment update went on the channel yesterday for dad's apartment there you go, here's the tourist train going along, loving life. You've got the go-kart stand there, if you want to book your go-karts, you can go and do it there. That's actually the company as well itself, the one in Park Del Arena. That, in my opinion, is the best go-karts uh, in Tenerife. There's two, um, but I think, personally, in my opinion, um, these are the best. The track is a little bit more interesting. But yeah, you can book it there. And they come down on the weekends in that little van, I think, to give information and stuff. There's a free bus that gets you to the uh, go-karts as well, if you haven't got a car. There you go, if you're interested, he's back. If, uh, if he's what you're looking for, he's uh, back on the island, doing his thing. A nice little view of the fountain to round off. Fantastic vibe to tell you what, Harry's is very busy up there. A lot of people out for their meals and stuff. And there you go, hard rock rooftop as well. Very busy up there as well. Good stuff. Uh, are UK licenses still valid there? Yes, they are, 100%. All you need to rent a car is your UK license, which is valid and in date, and your passport. That's all you need. Let's have a look at these watches, a few nice Amigas here. Nice, some very nice watches there. Right, well, I've done a nice little loop there. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it reassured some of you. Uh, I'm going to tune out now. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll go somewhere a little bit different tomorrow. But I hope that reassures you. But do please let me know in the comments when the video is finished uh, your thoughts on the whole situation. Uh, the UK media hyping it up. And why aren't they reporting on their own UK issues? Interesting, interesting. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the thumbs up. And hit the subscribe if you're new, it's completely free. Uh, I'll be back live again tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that tomorrow afternoon. But uh, thank you all very much, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, stride on. Bye, guys.